Hey everyone, Rich the Medic here, and yes, it is true, it's Imperator Rome. So we're going to jump into a single player game. I've played a little bit, we're going to run through the tutorial so I can show you guys how this game works. So hopefully, this will go the way it's supposed to. Imperator Rome is another paradox title that seems to be this odd hybrid between EU4 Crusader Kings 2 and Vic Vicky 2. Uh, how, I don't exactly know, but that's what I've heard. So, welcome to the tutorial for Imperator Rome. By completing the series of objectives you will find on the left-hand side of your screen, we will introduce you to the basic principles behind playing Imperator Rome. The button on the left side of your screen embossed with a wreath and spear will allow you to open and close the tutorial objective window, which I'm going to guess is this here. Yay! You'll be able to complete objectives in any order you choose. However, if you're new to Paradox titles and wish to refresh your knowledge, we recommend that you follow the objective list from the top to the bottom. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Holding your mouse over an objective will provide you with hints of how to fulfill the conditions. When the conditions are met, objectives will be highlighted to show you they are ready to turn on. Roma Invicta! Uh, bear with me one minute here, guys. Sorry about that. The headset volume just needed a little tweaking because it was about to blow out my eardrums. For over 20 years, the nascent Roman Republic has fought a harsh campaign against the Samanite people to the south. Although victory often seemed far from grasp, the war ended in Rome's favor, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city-state of ne Neapolis. The Samnites, however, have retreated to lick their wounds are far from defeated. In the north, the Etruscan people, by the expansion of the Republic with apprehension, to the south, myriad Greek city-states plot behind one another's backs, all the while appealing to their benefactors in Greece for aid. On the far-flung island of Sicily, the foreign invasion of the mysterious Carthaginian Empire threatens to upset the precarious balance of power in the region. Will Rome rise victorious or fall to internal strife and barbaric hordes? The fate of the Republic rests in your hands. For the Republic! Uh, we'll be playing as Rome. The current date is 1 October 450. Ab Urbi Candida or 450 years after the founding of Rome. I know I butchered that. Rome has recently established local dominance and the stage is set for your expansion through the Italian region. For purposes of this tutorial, we've taken care of a few matters for you. You will, however, we will, however, teach you how to cover the areas over the course of the tutorial. Okay. So we have resources. Um, so we have treasury, manpower, military power, civic power. Oratory power. Religious power and stability. Yeah, stability is... Yeah. We've kind of... You kind of see that in all Paradox games. So, what do we need to do to stabilize Rome? Increase my stability to 2. Open the religion window. Click on the sacrifice of the gods interaction. No pigs were harmed in the making of this tutorial. What? Okay. Trade characters. So no, there's religion. Okay. Sacrifice to the gods, a pig with a knife. Makes sense. So we have now increased our stability to one or to two. So, call down an omen. Omens are an important feature in Imperator Rome. Open the religion window and browse which omens are available to you. It is important to note that only one omen may be active at once, and that an omen may be not be revoked until chosen, or once chosen. Once it has expired, a new one may be picked. Uh, they recommend Blessings of Fortuna. So, What is Blessings of Fortuna? Oh, National Unrest minus 2.24. You know what? We're going to go with their suggestion. 
Omen power religious unity is at 98.3%. Nice. I'll live with that. Okay. Army of 30 cohorts. You can train cohorts in any own city. Training can be initiated in one of a number of ways. Using the macro builder, which can be found in the top left of your screen. Selecting a city and using the recruit cohorts button. Selecting an army and selecting the recruit to unit button. Um, okay, they want it to be in one army. So, let's select this army. We'll recruit to army. Now, let's see. We've got archers, heavy infantry, and light cavalry already. So, we will add five of each. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And archers, we will do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's got that underway. And they're going to take about a month. We'll go ahead and let's see what else we need to do. Twelve triremes. Okay, this looks like it's done pretty much the same. So let's select a navy. Can I build to navy? We can. So we need eight triremes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go ahead and get time started. We'll go down to speed three and let them start building while we see what's next on the hit parade. Oh. Oh, I saw we need to build training camps, but this, this might make it easier. So let's see, can we build one? Can we just click a province? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, I think we needed to build eight. We did. Oh, okay, so that's kind of cool. I like that, and we have an army. In Port Fish, in order to keep your cities from starving, you will need to provide them with enough food to keep growing. Rome is safe from starvation for the time being. However, importing fish to Latium will increase the growth speed of your pups. Latium is the province in which the city of Rome resides. Okay, that's easy enough. By clicking on Rome, you'll see the top right corner of the province UI, a trade route button. So, I'm going to say here, trade route, fish. Now, we can import fish from a lot of places. They all cost 25 whatever this is, civic power. Can't import from there. Uh, let's do Venetia. There's no reason for it. So... Our ships will be done soonish. These things take about a month to build. So what's next on the hit parade for this tutorial? Uh, conquer the Sabini. Okay. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so that's those. Oh, our praetor Marcus Valerius Corvus has friends far outside our borders, often trying to use his network to the advantage of our nation. He believes his friendship with the Tribunus Millennium of Nuceria can be put into use to increase their opinion of us. All we have to do is send some of our wealth his way and he will try to improve our reputation in Nuceria. So we'll lose... 28.11 gold and gain 20 or lose 10 loyalty from um I think we can afford the gold so anyway back to conquer so we need to conquer them and I believe we need to fabricate a claim 
doesn't matter which one, they only have two, so that'll be easy enough. After you have a claim, make sure your troops are in good position to declare war. Okay, so, much like in other games, let's see. We'll open diplomacy. I'm going to say this is covert actions. We're going to fabricate a claim on Utruria. Sure, why not? So, where is my army? My army. Let's see, can we send you here? We'll have you go walk over there. What are these? Th oh, these are mercenaries. I guess, we oh yeah, I guess we can hire mercenaries. So we have 30,000 troops. They only have 5,000. Oh. So my train just purchase an invention. Okay, let's look at purchasing an invention. You'll need to open the technology window. The invention can be purchased with civic power, which we have 752 of. Um, okay. Where is technology? There we go. Oh, okay. What another job will give us plus five starting experience? Okay, so that looks like it helps with research. Sailors I'm not so interested in right now. National tax would be good. My council, a son has been born to Publius Symphorus Sophus, consul. We were told the baby's name Symphorius Sophus. He is the son of the council of Rome. He is a member of the Semproni family. Oh, good. We have a kid. Yay. Oh, army morale recovery could be good. Let's go with that. Plus 2%. I can live with it. Oh, we have scorned families. We'll get to that at some point, I'm sure. So. Anything else over here that we need to finish them off? Relations with the Sippin. Sometimes a diplomatic solution is far more expensive. Try to improve our standing with Sip. Not Yeah, whatever that place is. Okay, so I'm going to guess we can open Diplomacy. Influence actions. Influence. Maybe it's relation act relations I want. Improve opinion. Okay. Oh, they're negative 30. Oh, my lord. Well, we don't have an embassy. The grass is greener. The cities of Nola and Seticula have been engaged in a war of words, each claiming to be more righteous, powerful, and zealous than the other. Normally, such petty bickering would be beneath our interest, but in this case, the two settlements have begun preparing for conflict. The downside to this may become apparent with time. However, the tide of young men belonging to the settlements who are willing to volunteer for war has greatly increased. Plus 10 Freeman output for both. Okay, I'll take it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, where did... Okay, yeah, I didn't want to quite zoom out and move my mouse around that much. So, you know what? Where are we at time-wise? We may have enough time to finish off this war. Do I want to call them into war? You know what? I don't think it's going to matter. Let's go get them. Oh, they're taking... A, how much attrition are we taking? Oh, 34 in a day. I can only do 25. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna go after him. Yeah, you can't run away. You're locked. 
We won. We stack wiped them. So now I guess we have to take this province before we can move on. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? No. Where did you go? Oh, you're down there dealing, being trounced by somebody else. And now you're running away. So there's five cohorts there. I guess we probably should go move over here and take this fort. Now, much like EU4, we're going to have to siege the forts down. In lands like this where there's no fort, then we just have to stand there and it takes just takes a round. What's this? Military tradition. Well, we'll check into that here in a bit. Right now, I just want this war to be over. Oh, well, maybe we don't have to siege it down. Well, it looks like my guys are going to come in there and wipe them out. So that'll be good. Okay, so that was that was easily done. Let's head over here. Because now that we've apparently can cross through. Oh, you're training an archer. No, no, no. No, that can't be allowed. Go here. Apparently that had didn't siege didn't get sieged. So we'll just stand here when hopefully that will stop. Yep, that stops them from being able to make more troops. And if they did, they'd just pop out and we'd kill them. And what sense does that make for them? Siege phase timer? There, we took it. Okay. Let's see. The recent work of Plebeum Jurist Navius Flavus, his Legus... Actiones or actions in law are the first written account of legal procedure of Rome. The importance of this work propelled him to the office of Tribune of the Plebs and garnered him wide popular support. The full extent and interpretation of our law has now, until now, has been a verbal tradition. Uh, codified the legal procedure to a wider audience has not been fully appreciated, so. Uh, I don't want the tyranny. So let's go over here. Finish this off. Although we probably don't need to. So it looks like our... Our um, allies there are going to take care of it for us rather quickly. What's our attrition? You know what? Let's send you back down here. I don't really don't want to take the attrition and our allies are sieging it down for us anyway. So once they take it, we'll just piece them out. So let's see what this military tradition thing is. Light infantry defense plus 15. Trireme. Okay. I forget what we have in there. We have light, heavy, and archers. Let's go with this. Hopefully that will help us. Now we're not taking attrition, but... Our allies are, and they're welcome to it. Oh, we can do another invention. Oh, less, 10% less for fabrication cost. Um, you know what? Since I got a feeling we're going to be making more armies. I think that would benefit us, ultimately. 
Okay, so it looks like we have a 100% war score. So let's see what we can do. We're going to take you. How much money do you have? And we're going to take all your money. Yes, we'll now be a regional power. So, one plus one import route, plus three 50% diplomatic range. Good. Welcome to the Empire. Um, it would be easy just to get rid of them. Well... That would be good. Less aggressive expansion. I'm going to take the bonus to the aggressive expansion. It's not really going to make a big difference at the end of the day. So where are we at now? Finish off the Salmonites? Where are the Salmonites? Oh. You're a fairly good sized empire. So, we can recruit cohorts. I wonder if they're... Huh. Seven, eight. That's all I can recruit. Where are you guys again? Down here. Open diplomacy. We're going to need a claim. We'll just pick a province. I don't think it really matters. Uh, okay, so we got a foreigner who arrived. Good for you. I don't care. So as soon as I get a little more army built. Let's speed time up just a little bit. You know what? We're going to pause here for a moment, guys. Because um, we're at time for today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave any comments you have down below. Um, remember to click that subscribe, like the video. And if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hey, this is Rich the Medic, and I'm out of here. Take care, everyone.